I've got that word. I've got that. You've seen it on TV. You've seen it in print. You've even seen it in the ocean. I've heard sharks talk about it too. But have you seen the new Mahindra Marazzo standing beside a lake? Welcome then folks to Power Drift where we show you a Marazzo standing beside a lake like you've never seen before. A Marazzo standing beside a lake like you've never seen before? That's right and remember folks, you've seen it here first. So, standing beside a lake, a Maruti Suzuki Ertiga would be smaller. As you see, a Toyota Innova would be bigger. A Marazzo standing beside a lake is slicker. It is designed by Ferrari designers during their lunch break. That's what the design by Pininfarina means when you see it on TV or read it in newspapers. The Marazzo has been developed in America at a cost of 200 million dollars. Now you may have heard all of this before but you haven't seen a Marazzo like this. There is drama when you unlock this car. The projector headlamps, puddle lamps and dancing tail lamps. Purple motif give you the warmest welcome this side of 14 lakh rupees. Alright, so the welcome continues inside the plush cabin that feels as spacious as that of a Toyota Innova's. And why wouldn't it be? Because the wheelbase of the Marazzo is actually longer than that of the Toyota Innova's by 10 millimeters. The seating position is commanding, the visibility all around is great and the rear view mirrors are huge. The stubby gear lever here, by the way, will feel really nice to hold in the hand, you shall agree. And, well, it seems like it's from the Honda CR-V. You got a decently sized touch screen infotainment system here, which when you touch vibrates, which means it's got haptic feedback. It also comes with Android Auto and a roof-mounted surround cool AC that can direct or diffuse air. There's just so much to do back here. And there'll be much more to be done because out here in the second row, I'm personally loving the comfortable, supportive captain's seats. But if these are too economy for you, well then fret not because there's a DC lounge kit straight from the factory that will be coming along to turn the entire Marazzo experience into a first class one. Whoa, it indeed is quite spacious back here. You were right. Also, the Marazzo has got cruise control and infinity AMOLED display with no notch. It's got a Snapdragon 845 processor and 8GB RAM as well. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Vivo Next, of course, and how they can win it right here on Power Well, all you have to do is simply like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube and head on over to our Instagram page. Follow us there and one lucky follower will win this brand spanking new phone to up their Instagram game. Simple. All right then, let's get moving. Absolutely. Let's take off. <laughs> All right, Captain, I've got my seat belt on, my hand is down, window shades pulled up, seat back upright. Let's take off. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I can't find the engine start button. Well, the car gets no engine start button. Here, the keys, do it the old fashioned way. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm ready to go, but it's just not taking off. Now that could have been a Marazzo like never seen before but then it's not a thrust lever but merely a handbrake. Glenn is no pilot and that Marazzo could not take off because well the performance from the newly developed 1.5 litre diesel engine is adequate but not exciting. If you want to squeeze more performance you will have to constantly work this close ratio 6 speed transmission which isn't really a problem because shifting in this car is as slick as it gets. Alright, now a good gearbox is half the job done. So in this case, it's a great gearbox, so great job done. And this is the most comfortable and refined Mahindra they've ever made. Remember folks, you've heard it here first. Hey! Hey, no, freeze! <laughs> now Mahindra claims that a car like Marazzo comes with a rare combo. The combo of a ladder frame and a front wheel drive. Now ladder frame is going to mean that it's going to be rugged and durable of course but the front wheel drive is going to bring in other advantages like cheaper to maintain, less transmission losses and it would weigh less because there is no propeller shaft going all the way to the back and no differential which would presumably free up more space for greater, larger suspension travel at the rear like is the case in the case of Marazzo. 
And if we are talking of suspension, then I shall have you know that the right quality here is stupendous. And the suspension also comes with a few aluminium components, if that tickles your fancy. Which means good handling and not a lot of body roll, which is something that you haven't really seen in a Mahindra before. It also comes with disc brakes all around. I guess you were enjoying the Marazzo a little too much, but less someone thinks that we are being biased here. Yeah. Let's talk of what's bad. Well, what you see is what is good, but what you don't see is what is bad. For example, the lower half of the dash that you can't see isn't finished off nicely. The steering column is exposed and the plastic feels like it's cut by a knife. For example, cubby holes are plentiful but oddly placed. But the most funny one is this here atop the dash. If you keep your phone there and reach for it while you're driving, you'll inevitably be gagged by the seatbelt. For example, there is no automatic variant as of now that will come with the BS6 variant. For example, just two airbags and ABS for a car this big just isn't enough these days. For example, 8-seater is 5,000 rupees dear up. For example, steering is light trimmed but too light and nervous at high speeds. For example, you have hey, to. Dude, stop it, stop it, Glenn. Let's just instead, in all seriousness, conclude on the Marazzo like we haven't before. If you want to do that, then we shouldn't be talking about the Marazzo, rather the market that the Marazzo has been introduced to. On one hand, you have the Toyota Innova Crista, arguably the benchmark MPV in the segment, but today it's prohibitively expensive at the top. And of course, uh, there is the other successful MPV of our market, which is the Ertiga, which is not really a seven-seater though, it's a five-seater. And that's why I really feel the Marazzo really comes and fits right in between. You know, with a price bracket of between 10 to 14 lakh rupees, the Marazzo really goes out there and hits the sweet spot, not just in our market, but also in our hearts. I say that because, you see, there have been many designs from Mahindra Stables before that have been so aggressive and out there with in-your-face uh, philosophy. But then the Marazzo is not that. It's subtle, it's not shouting, and yet it speaks so convincingly of itself. Mahindra as a manufacturer has always been known to be quick to react to changing market conditions, regulations and other dynamics and to some degree I feel the products have also reflected that. That's right and what would you get if a manufacturer like this were to take a step back and spend their own little sweet time in making a car? What you would get then ladies and gentlemen is a Marazzo.